Can you believe it's been a year this month that Art Van Furniture filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy? There was some hope for many of those employees and customers when Love's Furniture took over several dozen of those stores last summer. But pandemic related supply issues plagued the new business along with delivery problems. Love's filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy on January 6th of this year. But some customers who paid for merchandise they never received are very frustrated. I went searching for answers for them in today's Don't Waste Your Money report. Michael and Stephanie Cousins started 2021 with a visit to the Shelby Township Loves Furniture Store. What did you buy? What was in your bedroom set? Um, we purchased a queen bed, the headboard, the footboard, the two nightstands, the chest, a complete, yeah, new set. The grand total, $2,857.76, paid in full January 1st with their debit card. The furniture was slated to be delivered to their new home January 23rd, but five days after their purchase, they saw the headlines. Loves has filed Chapter 11 bankruptcy, you know, and we were like, we just bought furniture on Monday. Like, oh no, <laughs> what are we going to do? Her husband called the store manager, who told him their furniture was at the Loves warehouse on 14 Mile in Warren. So he loaded up a trailer to pick it up himself. Once he got there, the warehouse was padlocked. A manager told him anything inside was being liquidated. We know it's sitting there, <laughs> but we weren't allowed to take it. Even though we had all the proof, it, we paid for it. They received an email from Love's customer care on January 21st, saying in part, per the direction of the courts, all orders placed on or prior to January 6th, 2021 are to be canceled. We have therefore canceled your order. We have noted that your order was placed with a credit card. It is the recommendation of the bankruptcy courts that you file a dispute with your credit card company for any funds owed to you. Credit card companies are usually willing to work with you, especially in cases such as this with bankruptcy. Laura Blankenship with the Better Business Bureau says it's typically harder to get a refund if you paid with gift cards or money directly from your checking account, as was the case with the cousins. I reached out to the attorney representing Love's Furniture and received a written response from Love saying, in part, customers who paid by cash or check must await the lengthy bankruptcy process to seek a refund. It goes on to say, Love's recommendation to Mr. and Mrs. Cousins is to file a dispute with the bank that issued the card and request a refund to their account. Love's added that for people who paid by check, they need to send Love's a copy of the canceled check. Love's will then submit a claim to the bankruptcy court along with other customers who paid by cash or check. The Cousins did contact their bank, which put a temporary credit in their account, which they're not touching. The bank told them talks are planned with Loves in April to try to formally get the refund. But there's no guarantee. It kind of sounded like we were in a you lost out situation. It's been tough. They've been so, so frustrated. Now we have Love's full statement on our website. Love said that it's also had some customers reach out and ask about the extended warranties that they purchased through Love's. The company said in a statement, those warranties are provided by Uniters, a third party, and are not affected by Love's bankruptcy. Uniters will continue to honor warranties that were purchased. Bottom line here, the Better Business Bureau says if you're buying any big ticket item or ordering goods online, always pay with a credit card so you have more recourse when problems pop up.